Hi guys and hello mga math enthusiast. Welcome again sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, baka nagtataka kayo bakit ako nag-upload ng quadratic formula eh medyo natapos na natin yung buong module no. Kasi meron tayong request na sana daw gawin natin ng video itong quadratic formula. Kasi nga nung napansin ko, chine ko yung mga videos natin, wala pala tayong tutorial about this one. Kaya, okay na rin. Ito, gawa na rin natin ito para naman yung nag-request ay madalian sa pagsagot niya ng module. Okay. Now, quadratic formula is the easiest way. Okay. Para sa akin na, ito yung pinakamadaling way para tayo ay makapag-factor or kumuha ng solution ng quadratic formula. Kasi, ang gagawin lang natin, we just... Uh, plug in yung mga values ng mga letters. Okay, so, sige na, huwag na natin itong patagalin pa. Simula na natin. So, we have your x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. No, sa totoong buhay, kung tayo ay face-to-face, -face, required kayong i-memorize ito, ha? Pero dahil kayo ay nasa mga bahay nyo lang, okay, pwede nyo na lang basta ito, isulat, tapos dito kayo mag-refer, ha? Pero mas maganda kong memorize, okay? Now, find the solutions of the following quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Yan ang gagamitin natin ito. Now, it is important that yung equation natin, okay, naka-standard form siya. Okay? Ano ba yung standard form natin? Yung a x squared plus bx plus c equals to zero para magawa natin tong quadratic formula. Okay, let's have number 1. Meron tayong 5 examples ha. Ito yung mga pwede nyong ma-encounter, mga type ng examples na pwede nyong ma-encounter as you solve for the solutions of quadratic formula. Kaya panoorin bawat isa, okay? So, number 1, we have x squared plus 4x equals 12. So, as you can see, hindi pa to yung form na, ka na kailangan natin para magawa natin yung quadratic formula. Kasi nga, dapat siya ay ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. So, obviously, itong 12 kailangan bumalik dito. So, having this as positive, magiging negative na siya. Kaya, magiging x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals to 0. Now, we identify the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c. Okay, since we have here a, ito yon yung coefficient ng ating x squared Okay, since wala tayong number dito, alam natin na iyan ay invisible one, ha? We do not write one, pero pag wala kayong nakitang number beside the uh, a variable, it means the numerical coefficient is one. So, we have here one, we have here four, and we have here, we have here negative twelve. Okay, then ayan na. Quadratic formula na tayo. Wait, bakit bumaba si twelve? Okay, so ang formula natin is x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So you will have here x is equal to negative b, so negative 4 plus minus the square root of 4 squared minus a 4 times yung a is 1 and then yung c mo ay negative 12. Okay, over 2 times 1 kasi yung A mo. Okay, so you will have here now negative 4 plus minus the square root of, what is a 4 squared? 16 minus a 4 times 1 times 12. Uh, Idiretso ko na ha, para hindi na masyadong marami pang sinusulat. Okay, so we will have negative 4 times 1 times negative 12 is positive 48. Okay? Ha? That's positive 48 over 2 times 1 is 2. So, we will have now negative 4 plus minus, what is 16 plus 48? 16 plus 48 is simply 4, carry 1, 64. 64 over 2. 
O, ayan na, napakadali na ito. Paghihiwalayin lang natin, ha? Ang isa is negative 4 plus the square root of 64. And then, yung isa ay negative 4 minus the square root of 64. Pero, para mas madali, kunin na natin yung square root ng 64. Negative 4 plus minus, ang square root ng 64 ay 8. Okay, over 2. And then, ito, paghiwalayin na natin. Isang x equals to negative 4 plus 8 over 2. Saka isang x is equal to negative 4 minus 8 over 2. And then, the value will be negative 4 plus 8. You will have here 4, positive 4 over 2. Kasi you cannot add, magkaiba sila ng sign. So, 4 over 2 is 2. So, you have x equals to 2. And then here we have x is equal to, what is negative 4 minus 8? So I'll have KCC, you keep this one, you change this one, and then you change this one. Negative 4 plus negative 8 is negative 12 divided by 2. So x is equal to negative 6. So the values or the solutions are 2 and negative 6. Okay, and dali lang, di ba? Okay, how about here, number 2, x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. So, ito na yung form na hinahanap natin. Wala na tayong gagawin. Kailangan lang natin i-identify si A, si B, and si C. A natin is simply 1, B is 3, and C is 2. So, the formula is x is equal to negative B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Okay, our b will be negative 3 plus minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1, ang a natin, times 2 for c, over 2 times 1. Okay, so you will have here now negative 3 plus minus the square root of 9 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 2 is 8 over, sorry, over 2. So, what is now 9 minus 8? So, we will have here negative 3 plus minus 9 minus 8 is 1. Okay, the square root of 1 over 2. Ang square root ng 1 ay 1. Bakit? ba? Pag nagkukumukuha tayo ng square root, we are thinking, nag-iisip tayo, ano ba yung number na pag minultiply mo sa sarili niya, ang sagot ay 1. So, 1 times 1 is 1. So, ang square root ng 1 ay 1. So, you will have here negative 3 plus minus 1 over 2. And then, paghiwalayin na yan. So, we will have here x is equal to negative 3 plus 1 over 2. Yun yung nasa positive. Tapos, x is equal to negative 3 minus 1 over 2. Okay, so, sorry. Ay, sorry. So, we will have here now x is equal to negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 divided by 2. O, dito ko na lang ilagay ha, kasi ano na yung sa baba. So, what is negative 2 over 2? That's negative 1. So, here na lang. x is equal to negative 1. Ito yung unang solution. Yung susunod naman, so, since minus 2, we do KCC. Keep, change, and change. So, negative 3 plus negative 1 is negative 4 over 2. What is negative 4 divided by 2? You have negative 2. So, the other solution is x equals to negative 2. Okay? Oh, so, ganun lang yun. Hmm, how about this one? We have 9x squared equals to 45. Oh, kung mapapansin ninyo, we have here, oh, i-divide natin by 9. Okay, para x lang to. So, we will have x squared is equal to, what is 45 divided by 9? 5. Okay, tapos gawin natin itong standard form. So, you will have x squared minus a 5 equals to 0. O, now, what is a? a is 1. What is b? a is 0. What is c? c is negative 5. O, bakit b natin ay 0? Kasi wala naman tayong x dyan, ba Yung second term natin is missing. Baba ko lang saglit ito. So, let's try to solve. Magkakaroon ka ngayon ng x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, we will have here, aha, negative 
Negative B. So, since 0 siya, 0 na siya. No need to, to write. So, positive, negative. So, we have 0 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 5 over 2 times 1. Okay? So, you will have here now positive, negative. Uh, 0 squared is 0 minus Oh, no, negative 4 times 1 times negative 5 is positive 20. Correct. Over 2. Kasi 2 times 1 is 2. Ngayon, wala, 20 is not perfect square. Ha? Hindi siya perfect square. So, isip lang tayo ng factors ni 20 na may perfect square. So, ano yun? We have 4 and then 5. So, 4 times 5. Kasi yung 4 may perfect square siya. Okay, o ano ang square root kayo ng 4? 2. So, you will have here now, aha, positive, negative 2, square root of 5 over 2. Now, we can simplify, diba? Itong 2, we can divide 2 divided by 2, kaya ang matitira ay positive, negative, square root of 5. So, your x will be positive square root of 5, o ito na yung first solution mo. Yung second solution mo will be uh, negative square root of 5. O yung iba, ito yung tawag nila ay x sub 1, first root. Ito naman ay x sub 2 or yung second root. Ha? Or yung second solution. Okay, how about this one? We have here 2x squared plus 7x minus 9 equals to 0. So, we will have here a is 2, b is 7, C is negative 9. Okay, so we have B. Our X is equal to negative B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Okay, so what is now this one? So negative 7 plus minus, baba ko ha. Enter ko lang to. So, we have here this one. And then, the square root of... Wait. Okay, square root of... Wait lang ah. Square root of 7 squared. Okay, minus of 4 times yung A mo is C. Eh, A is C. Ang A mo is 2 and then yung C mo ay negative 9. Over 2 times 2. Kasi yung A mo is 2. Ha? Okay, so we will have here now negative 7 plus minus the square root of, what is 7 squared? 49. Okay, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times negative 9 is positive 72. Okay, over 2 times 2 is 4. Now, what is 49 times, ah, times, plus 72? So, 9 plus 2 is 11, carry 1. 7 plus 4 is 11 plus 1 is 12. Sorry, 12. Kaya magiging answer is 121. So, we will have here now negative 7 plus minus the square root of 121 over... 4, and so you will have here now negative 7 plus minus, what is the square root of 121? It is simply 11, ha? Kasi 11 times 11 is 121 over 4. So you will have here now negative 7 plus 11 over 4. Okay, paghihiwalayin na natin. Tapos yung isa naman ay x equals to negative 7 minus 11 over 4. Okay, so what is negative 7 plus 11? Ha, baba ko lang to. Ano ang sagot? Wait. So, we have here, how many? We have 4, right? Negative 7 plus 11 is positive 4 over 4. So, 4 over 4 is 1. So, yung una mong solution is x equals 1. And then here we have, since minus kcc ulit, keep, change, change. We keep, we change, and then we change. So, this will be negative 7 plus negative 11 is negative 18. 
Oops, sorry, may tumawag. Over 4. So, what is negative 18 over 4? That will be, cannot be, di ba? So, fraction ito, simplify natin by dividing it by 2. So, you will have here now negative 9 over 2. So, this is your other solution. Ayan na. Okay, now, meron tayong segment sa ating YouTube ha, kung saan pwede kayo magpa-shoutout, pero dapat nakagantong form. Hashtag mommy pa shout out ita type nyo ito sa comment section ha ulit hashtag mommy pa shout out yung name yung place and yung message name no ha tapos may question of the day din tayo na sana sagutan nyo sa comment natin na intindihan mo ba yung discussion ko at kaya mo bang makabesado yung formula natin sa quadratic function a quadratic function quadratic formula Okay, please pakisagutan yan ha. At kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please huwag kalimutang pindutin ang like button. Siyempre, mag-comment ka at i-share mo din to sa iba para hindi lang naman ikaw ang nadadalian sa mat. At kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, please uh, uh, huwag kalimutang pindutin ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Let's spread the love of mat! Thank you and bye!